back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to start module 1, the banker and customer. The topics to be covered in this video are the first one, the origin of the term bank, the second one, definition of bank, third one, who is a banker, fourth one, who is a customer, fifth one, the relationship between a banker and customer and the last one is rights and duties of a banker. The first topic, the origin of the term bank is already been discussed in the previous video. In this video, we are going to discuss about the financial system first and then discuss about the definition of the term bank. Okay, my dear student friends, shall we start? <laughs> So, before discussing about the definition of bank, one has to clearly understand what is financial system. We discuss about financial system first and then discussed about the bank, okay, financial system. So, what is financial system? Simply, financial system means the license or it links between surplus spending units and deficit spending units. In its simplest form, the financial system of an economy is defined as the system which provides the way to collect money from the people who have it and distribute it to those who can use it the best. This is called a financial system. I think you understood the financial system is like, for example, the education system or political system or music system in an economy or in any country, India, America, Pakistan or Switzerland, in any country, there is a financial system. In India, it is called the Indian financial system. The financial system's main objective is to link between the surplus spending units and deficit spending units. What do you mean by this? The surplus spending unit is a group of people where they have surplus money and the deficit spending unit is the group of people where they don't have money or lack of money. And this financial system links both the surplus spending unit and deficit spending unit. And the financial system has four components. The first one is financial institutions. The second one is uh, financial markets. Third one is financial instruments. And the last one is financial services. The first one financial institutions are like Banks are non-banking financial corporations like you see State Bank of India, uh, Life Insurance Corporation, Bajaj Alliance. These are the financial institutions. All the financial institutions are classified either banking financial corporations or non-banking financial corporations. These financial institutions facilitate smooth working of the financial system by making investors and borrowers meet. They mobilize the savings of investors either directly or indirectly via or through financial markets. Then what is financial markets? I will explain you financial markets. I think you know about markets. Market is a place, a notional place or a physical place where both buyers and sellers meet together to exchange goods or services for money or money's worth in return. That is called markets. Here we are discussing about financial markets. Financial market is a place, again it's a place where financial assets are created or transferred. It can be broadly categ categorized into money market or capital market. Of course, don't worry about money market and capital market. It is not used to you. Uh, right now, you need not understand about that money market and capital market. 
try to understand this is the financial market that's all and next financial instruments what do you mean by instrument i think you know about guitar guitar is an instrument tabla is an instrument likewise there are so many instruments but here we are talking about financial instruments what do you mean by financial instrument a financial instrument is a monetary contract between parties or financial instrument is also called a evidence evidence of any contract between two parties for example i made a fixed deposit in the bank what is the proof they give a bond don't they give a bond they give a bond that fixed deposit bond is called the instrument which serve as the evidence between the contract made between me and them okay this is called financial instrument they can be cash currency evidence of ownership okay it serves as the ownership okay the ownership of a customer with a bank a contractual right to receive or deliver any bond loan equity shares or derivatives fixed deposits anything okay that is called financial instrument then the last one is financial services financial services consist of services provided by various organizations like banking organizations or non banking financial corporations like for example uh, if you want education loan banks will give education loans uh, if you want to pay a current bill banks will pay the current bill if you want uh, even to book a ticket in railway department they will book a ticket for you through railway okay they will do so many services on behalf of customers of course all these services are called functions of bank these are the components of financial system hope you understood the financial system now let us discuss the definition of bank the definition of bank goes like this in simple words banking can be defined as the business activity of accepting and safeguarding money owned by other individuals and entities through deposits and then lending out this money in order to earn profits banking is commercial activity whose main job is to accept the money through deposits from the public and lend loans to the same public and earn profits through the difference of interest rates of deposits and lending rates banking is a clever business where all the banks take public money and give the same money to the public and earn profit ek hath se lena aur ek hath se dena that is what it does yes the banks take money from the customers in the form of deposits and lend the same money to the customers in the form of loan therefore banks are catalyst for the growth of any economy banks act as the link or liaison between the surplus spending units and deficit spending units i think you understood who are the surplus spending units and who are the deficit spending units so banks act as the intermediaries to connect these surplus spending units and deficit spending units so my dear student friends i hope you understood the concepts do subscribe to my youtube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you will receive the regular updates as and when i post new videos happy learning bye bye